In this question, we're told John ran a race at his school. The course was measured at 450 metres, correct to two significant figures, and his time was given as 62 seconds to the nearest second. We're asked to calculate the difference between his maximum and minimum possible average speed, and we're asked to round our answer to three significant figures. So this is an upper and lower bounds question, and I like to do these in a table. So what I'm going to have then is the upper and lower bound for the distance and the upper and lower bound for the time. So what I'll say then is lower bound and we'll start now with the distance. So this is now correct to two significant figures. So the lower bound will be 445 metres. The upper bound will be now 455 metres. So 445 and 455. If we now look at the time, the lower bound will be, this is now to the nearest second, so this will be 61.5 seconds. The upper bound will be 62.5 seconds. We know that speed is distance divided by time. So speed is distance divided by time. So what I'm going to look at then is the max, so the maximum average speed. So I'm going to say this is S max, and what I'm going to do is take now the longest distance in the shortest time. So this is going to be the upper bound for the distance, 455, over now the lower bound for the time, which is 61.5. If we consider the minimum, that now I'll call S min. That is going to be now the shortest distance in the longest possible time. So that's 445 divided by 62.5. So let's look at these in a calculator. So the first one I'm going to have now, and my answer will be meters per second, I'm going to have 455 over now 61.5, and that gives me now 910 over 123, which is going to give me approximately 7.39 and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to say then is this is going to be 910, so 910 over 123 meters per second. So that now is my first one, and I'm going to store this in the calculator. So I'll just store it now, we don't need to, just means I'm going to come back to that answer when I want it. Let's look at the next one now, we're going to have the following. We're going to have the 445 divided now by the 62.5, and that will now give me 178 over 25. So this one is going to be 178 over 25 meters per second. So that now is the minimum. So if I now store that, I don't have to, but it's an option if I want it. Shift, store, B. I've got those two answers in there. So the difference now, what we're going to look at is the following. The difference is going to be the top one. So difference is 910 over 123 minus now the 178 over 25. I'm using the exact value such that I wasn't rounding this one. Remember, we're giving our answer to three significant figures. So in the calculator, this is going to be now A minus the B. And that gives me on here 856 over 3075. So what's that now? 0 0.278. And I'll give that answer now to three significant figures. In the exam, I'd write this. In fact, I'll write it as a fraction 856. So this is going to be 856 over now the value in the denominator 3075. So 3075, and we're going to round this now to three significant figures. So that's 0 0.278. So 0 0.278, and that is meters per second. That now is the difference between the maximum possible speed he could have run and the minimum possible speed he could have run.